In the name of my country and our Ministry of Health, we appreciate to invite us to share the strategies for integral approach of the chronic kidney disease of unknown causes in El Salvador. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carlos Manuel Orantes Navarro. I am nephrologist and actually I am working in the National Institute of Health in the Ministry of Health of El Salvador. I am National Kidney Research Coordinator. We are a research team that investigate the causes about chronic kidney disease in rural communities. We also serve on a task force to implement a renal health program from primary health care system within the health care reform that our ministry is developing. Let me share about the strategies for the integral approach of the chronic kidney disease of unknown causes in El Salvador. First, I will answer the question, what is chronic kidney disease? For definition requires the following criteria. Kidney damage for three months as defined by structural or functional abnormalities of the kidney with or without decreased glomerular filtration rate manifest by either pathological abnormalities of marker of kidney damage including abnormalities in urine or imaging test. GFR less than 60 ml per minute for three months with or without kidney damage but in both criteria are irrespective of cause. The next question is, how we will classify or stratify the chronic kidney disease? The CKD is stratified by stage. When the glomerular filtration rate is equal to or greater than 90 correspond to a stage 1, and when the GFR is between 60 and 89, it classified as a stage 2. It's essential for both the presence of markers of renal damage in urine, for example, albuminuria, proteinuria, and or hematuria. When the glomerular filtration rate is less than 60, doesn't require the presence of renal damage marker for diagnosis. From stage 3 to 5 is known as chronic renal failure. Is in stage 5 which is required for treatment therapies, renal replacement as dialysis or kidney transplant for treatment. Stage 5 is commonly called end-stage renal disease, ESRD. What is the epidemiology about of CKD in the world? CKD is currently recognized as an important global population health problem. In developed countries, the progressive increase in number of CKD patients as those requiring renal replacement therapy is reaching epidemic levels, growing by 5 to 8 percent annually. Although data are scarce for developing countries, it is estimated that by 2030, 70 percent of patients with end stage renal disease will be in developing countries where such growing demand will outstrip the budgetary capabilities of health care system. What is the epidemiology about of CKD in the world? Population-based epidemiological studies in several countries have found high CKD prevalence in its different stage, estimated at 10% to 16% of the adult population. Prevalence of chronic renal failure in the adult population is 1.4% to 6.3%. The principal reported causes of CKD worldwide are diabetes mellitus, 30% to 40%, and hypertension, 25 to 30%, associated primarily with behavioral risk factors and aging. Recognized environmental risk factors for CKD include exposure to heavy metal, lead, cadmium, arsenic, 
mercury and uranium, agrochemicals, nephrotoxic substances such as aristolochic acid associated with Balkan endemic nephropathy, found in star fruit, and some Chinese gerbal remedies. Other CKD risk factors described are use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and the infectious disease like uh, leptospirosis, hantavirus, leprosy, and malaria, endemic in Central America. Other rare causes include head stroke in mind workers and repeat episodes of rhabdomyolysis. Chronic kidney disease in the world is like a epidemiological volcano. The epidemiology of CKD in the world is like a volcano. You can see a volcano from El Salvador called Chaparastique in San Miguel. That shows the CKD is associated causally primarily to other non-communicable chronic disease such as diabetes mellitus, hypertension, both disease with an increasing trend mainly in developing countries, also associated with aging, population, obesity, and other risk factors related to lifestyle, smoking, poor nutrition, sedentary lifestyle, and others. The chronic renal insufficiency, an emerging catastrophic and therefore priority disease, is emerging by the increasing number of patients, inadequate and poor quality of care, high cost, high mortality, and limited resource and inequality. It's catastrophic by annually the patient with CKD growth is at least 9% and spending increase by 14%. CKD in Latin America and Central America. In Latin America, the behavior of the CKD is similar to that reported internationally. However, in Central America and Southern Mexico, an increase in CKD has been reported in the past decade. Results of epi epidemiological studies vary, referring to the high prevalence in coastal areas in male farmers, primarily aged less than 60 years, who are exposed to agrochemical products in combination with presence of other risk factors. CKD in El Salvador is the leading cause of hospital death report in the adult population, the second cause of population-wide mortality in men and the fifth cause of death in person aged above 18 years. Epidemiologic and clinical knowledge is incomplete. In summary, there is a chronic kidney disease in El Salvador. According to reports in the rest of Central America and Southern Mexico, is an important health problem by high morbidity and mortality, located within the leading cause of death. Its clinical and epidemiological pattern is different to that reported internationally, epidemiologic and clinical knowledge is incomplete. In a high proportion of patients, the cause is unknown. Described above is based according to, to published scientific information in the region over the past decade. Research questions. For a comprehensive approach to this complex public health problem, we made the following research question. Do we know the epidemiologic characteristic of CKD in epidemiology, like its frequency, distribution, and associated risks? Do we know the aclinic characterization of CKD from a semiologic, physiopathologic, histopathologic, and toxicologic point of view and its associated comorbidities? Are the ambiental, occupational, and toxic epidemiological risk study? Is there a health system with therapies that allow an early diagnosis and health prevent, treat, 
give clinical treatment or dialysis or kidney transplant? Is there enough human resource capable of treating this public health problem? Is there enough financing and intersectoriality to confront this public health problem? Do the countries in this region have a perception and health surveillance of the magnitude of this health problem? Approach of the chronic kidney disease in El Salvador. We have three components. Investigation, characterization of CKD through epidemiological, clinical, toxic epidemiological study of the physical environment, the characterization of the working environment, and the social determinants. Health services, improving health service with a comprehensive and integrated health network base of primary health care, and development of human resources, train professionals and health technicians, incorporate Nefrosalva studies, epidemiological clinical research of CKD in agricultural communities include Nefrolempa, Bajo Lempa communities, Nefrooriente, Las Brisas communities, and Nefrooccidente, Guayapa Bajo community. In two years, we studied 5,018 people of both sexes and all ages, 103 families, and 11 communities. What was the age and sex distribution of validated population? Of those validated uh, under 18 years are uh, 184 uh, were males and 1079 were female and above 18 years of age 976 were males and 1000 for 112 females. Chronic kidney disease target. The target is to study the general population, population with CKD and population with CKD unknown causes. About the prevalence of risk factor in general population, we made the following research question. What are the risk factors present in the population study? The population is under the influence of multiply risk factor for chronic kidney disease, where the traditional and emerging risk factors are added, uh, are added as occupation, contact with toxical, toxic chemicals, use of nephrotoxic drugs, and other. How many people presented positive renal damage markers in the adult population? The amount of people with kidney damage markers in the urine was high in all communities. The marker of renal damage predominant was the microalbuminuria, followed by proteinuria. The presence of hematuria was very low. What amount of proteinuria was dominant in the case detected? If you can see, the proteinuria detected in most cases was less than 1 gram per liter. What is the prevalence of chronic kidney disease by general population and gender? The prevalence of CKD in the Bajo Lempa, Guayapa Bajo, in Las Brisas, was high, 15.4%, 20.5%, and 21.1% respectively, with a 2 to 1 male to male ratio, except in communities Las Brisas, in Nefroriente study. When we compare the prevalence between enhanes from USA and Bajolempa from El Salvador, the stacking of CKD studies we have done in El Salvador showed a progressive decrease in stage 1 to 5. But note that the stage 
three accumulated a higher percentage of patients with stage two against the logic epidem epidemiological. When compared with the enhanced three of the United States found that stage one and two were of lower percentage in studies while Salvadorian studies were higher in stage 3A, 3B, 4 and 5. The image features a lower prevalence in the initial stage where it is necessary the presence of marker of the diagnosis, a bump in the stage 2 and a shift to the stage of chronic renal failure. Prevalence between enhanced from USA and Efro La Salva studies from El Salvador. The behavior described above was similar in the three regions studied. About the CKD population and risk factor associated, we made the following research question. What are the risk factors in univariate analysis in the CKD population among all the population study? You can see in univariate analysis, increased age, personal history of renal disease, male sex, family history of hypertension, hypertension, hypertriglyceridemia, tobacco use, former use tobacco, agrochemical exposure, agricultural occupation, were all significantly associated with presence of CKD. The logistic model revealed that the probability of developing CKD was significantly influenced by age, personal history of renal disease, male sex, hypertension, hypertriglyceridemia, agrochemical exposure like carbosulfan, metomil, and methylparathion, agricultural occupation were all significantly associated with presence of CKD. What is the prevalence of chronic kidney disease? Unknown causes in the total adult population by gender. Population with chronic kidney disease of unknown causes was defined as all patients with chronic renal disease without diabetes mellitus or hypertension and no proteinuria of one grams per liter. Show that in 50% of patients with CKD don't have diabetes mellitus, hypertension, or proteinuria above 1 gram per liter. About the chronic kidney disease and no causes and risk factor associated, what are the risk factors in univariate analysis in the CKD UC? population among all the population studied. In univariate analysis, increased age, personal history of renal disease, male sex, tobacco use, former use tobacco, agrochemical exposure, agricultural occupation, use of NSAIDs were all significantly associated with presences of CKD UC. You can see the number of agrochemical associated. What are the risk factors in multivariate analysis in the CKDUC population among all the population studies? The logistic, the logistic model revealed that the probability of developing CKDUC was significantly influenced by age, male sex, contact with uh, agrochemical uh, like a metomil, and use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Comparison of average of glomerular filtration rate by decade of life between ISIS study from Cuba and Nefrosalva studies from El Salvador. It shows the behavior of renal function by decades of life. In the ease of youth study in Cuba, as a reference for comparison with the study conducted in El Salvador. Note the starting point at the beginning of life and the tendency of the curve. Uh, you can see our 
studies. We report the behavior of the average glomerular function by the case of life in the population study. Shows that the starting point for early glomerular filtration rate is between 160 and 180 milliliters per minute. Observe a sharp decrease from 10 years of age in the communities of Bajo Lempa and Guayapa Bajo. The behavior of the glomerular filtration rate in La Brisas has a different behavior to that described above with a starting point between 120 and 140 milliliters per minute and decrease within 10 years of age. Regarding the prevalence of CKD in children and adolescents, the corresponding prevalence are presented below. Prevalence of CKD in the population under 18 years of age. Prevalence of CKD in the population under 18 years of age is between 2.9% and 5%, with no significant difference between the sexes. The adolescents identified were diagnosed in early stage by the presence of renal damage markers, prevalence of were prevalence of microalbuminuria. In summary, result, detection of the disease in adolescent, more frequent in male farmers, two to one male to female, etiology not, not determined, Identifica identification of the principal associated risk factors, implementation of an epidemiological model of clinical research for the approach of the disease in rural communities. And finally, training of hundreds of health workers to make the field investigation. We show the investigating the possible chemical and physical causes of chronic kidney disease in El Salvador, Central America by Vanderbilt Darcy and Dina Lopez. Investigation of environment in Bajolempa region. Research on the content of pesticide and heavy metals in superficial and groundwater, soil and sediment have started in Bajolempa. With the collaboration of researchers from Ohio University, the Ministry of Health, Ministry of the Environment, and ANDA the company of in charge of public water supply in El Salvador, soil samples have been collected considering the areas where the people that have kidney disease have been working. Preliminary results, heavy metal study in El Bajo Lempa region. Preliminary results of this investigation show the presence of heavy metals in the soils but at levels that are below the standard for agricultural lands of the Canadian government. However, it is important to note that the level of cadmium are the highest in the area where the higher numbers of six workers have been working. This result suggests a possible connection between the presence of cadmium, a highly toxic heavy metal that attack the kidney, and the presence of the illness. Conclusion. The chronic kidney disease and the different stage of chronic renal failure has a higher prevalence than what is known internationally. The epidemiological behavior of the disease in the study population has difference comparing with the international patterns. The disease is more prevalent in males in age below 60 years of age, but affect in lower proportion in women, teenagers, and children. The study population was mainly rural, and the biggest percentage was among farmers exposed to toxicity, ambiental, and occupational risks. 
Chronic kidney disease, epidemiological Salvadorian volcano by double burden of causal and progression factors. The elevated prevalence of freeze factors detect suggests the presence of a double charge of causal risk and progression. The traditional, like uh, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, obesity, or dyslipidemia. Non-traditional risk factors, type of labor, occupation, and toxic risk. This is the Chinchontepec volcano in San Vicente, El Salvador. Finally, the information obtained has been useful in planning for meeting the health care needs of the population affected. It provides the basis for El Salvador Ministry of Health development of a renal health unit in the Bajo Lempa region, comprised of a multidisciplinary team to deliver preventive and curative care, providing continuity to the work in the rest of the study area and facilita facilitating new screening and health intervention in other rural Salvadorian communities. Principal achievements of advocacy for chronic kidney disease are detailed below. It positioned the issue of chronic kidney disease in different international settings at American and United Nations to make it priority public health problem to approach. It includes the topic of CKD as a concern in the American Declaration of Policy High-Level Consultation on Obesity and Non-Communicable Disease in Mexico. The Council of Ministers of Central America and the Republic and Dominican Republic, COMISCA, approved approve the inclusion of CKD in the group of chronic disease in the region of Zika, an occupational risk factor and environmental toxins capturing two declarations address the priority of the problem. It has mobilized the technical cooperation of the Pan American Health Organization to intervene in the problem through the appointment of a multidisciplinary team of experts for regional action in Central America and an action plan to begin working in El Salvador. And finally, establishment of a multidisciplinary technical team at country level for the integral approach of the CKD. Chronic kidney disease of unknown causes remains a challenge for public health and scientific community. The result of this study, another by Salvadorian nephrologist, suggests a new nosological entity, still not well understood, that could be termed a Salvadorian agricultural nephropathy. Similarities with reports from other Central American countries and Southern Mexico uh, could suggest a Central America or Mesoamerican regional nephropathy. Further epidemiological, clinical, and toxicological studies are needed to corroborate this hypothesis. Finally, uh, we think it is time to act team six. Thank you for attention.